is this the best air compressor for car detailing? Well, you guys are about to find out because in this video, I am reviewing the rigid four and a half gallon, 200 PSI air compressor. I'm gonna show you all the features. Of course, you're gonna see it in action. I'm gonna be presenting also all the uh, type of quick connects and fittings you need to make all of this work, uh, including the air hose and give you some recommendations. And you're gonna see some air tools that are used in the uh, detailing world as well. So why would you need an air compressor like this? It's gonna be perfect for your home garage or if you're a detailer especially a mobile detailer out there and you need a small and compact unit that's portable but also very powerful well this is the one so what's up guys welcome to another episode of pan the organizer by the way don't worry i'll leave links to all of these products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out so all you have to do as usual is sit back relax and enjoy the show so after talking to a lot of my viewers especially the professional detailers out there i was looking for an air compressor uh, to get some of the more demanding air tools out there uh, to have enough power to use them, right? So I'm going to talk about them a little later on, but there's one like this Tornador Z030. Uh, this is the Max Edition, so they're top of the line. This is basically a cleaning tool that pushes air inside here. It has this uh, bracket in the front that spins all that air, and you have a tang here to put your cleaning solution into, and you can clean fabrics, carpets, upholstery, all that kind of stuff. Perfect for detailing, but it needs quite a bit of power. So this is where, especially mobile detailers out there, they need something that's compact yet powerful enough and portable. And so this one here fits the bill. So again, it's the rigid four and a half gallon. So that's the tank capacity. It's rated at 200 uh, PSI of max pressure. However, the more important model is if you look on the side of the unit, it's 5.1 SCFM, which is perhaps the most important standard uh, of units to verify, and that's uh, standard cubic feet per minute of uh, air displacement, and that gives you something that's pretty strong. So this one here has 5.1 SCFM at 90 PSI, which is perfect for use for car detailing. Uh, of course, a bunch of other stuff in the construction if you're handy and you do stuff at uh, home, uh, which is not my case. I'm not a handy guy by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but this one here definitely fit the bill as far as power is concerned. So what about the features? First of all, uh, it says here on the side, it's a strong start technology motor. So basically they say that it gives you the reliable uh, starting regardless of the power conditions. Talking about power, this draws roughly 14 and a half amps. So it's fine to use on a standard 15 amp circuit. I have both 20 amp circuits and 15 amp circuits in my garage and this works good on both, no problems. Uh, you have a regulator here that's adjustable in the front so you can turn the knob either counterclockwise or clockwise to adjust the actual released pressure. So the first gauge here, these are big two inch dials by the way that you have so very readable, very nice. The first one is to show uh, how much PSI is in the tanks and then on this side you're actually, this is the outlet so much how much air you want regulated on the outside. So once you find, let's say your tool needs 90 PSI, well, you're gonna set that with either clockwise or counterclockwise until the needle reaches the amount you want. And then you push the knob in, you hear that click, that locks in the output. So let's say you wanted 90, CF, a 90 CFM, a 90 PSI is hurry. You're gonna get a steady 90 PSI of pressure. So I thought that was very cool as a feature as well. Uh, it has two universal push to connect quick couplers in the front which accept uh, a quarter inch either automotive or industrial plugs. So for example here, this is a quarter inch type quick connect or quick disconnect. Let me give you a close up so you can see this. So you would have your air hose and it's just a push in. So single handed operation, very easy to put in and you can release the quick connect with one hand again and release that. So that's pretty simple. I really, really like that. You have a uh, pressure release valve here in the front. You simply pull on the tab and it can release pressure when you're done using the unit. Uh, on the side here, you have the on off switch and we're gonna see, by the way, uh, this, the uh, compressor is very quick to reach the maximum filling capabilities. Many compressors need five to 10 minutes when you start them before they fill the tanks. Uh, we're gonna do the demo live on camera. You're gonna see just how quick this is. In under two minutes, typically, your tanks are full. So that's one of the higher performing ones, again, for the price, which is still inexpensive, what you're getting 
high quality and the compact size. Keep that in mind. This, by the way, is a maintenance free pump because it is oilless. So there's no maintenance. It's just an electrical pump and it works fantastic. I love things that are zero maintenance. You just plug it, use it, set it, forget it, and you're good to go. Uh, it's backed, by the way, by a three year warranty. And a quick disclaimer, by the way, uh, this is not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this video. I purchased this uh, myself from my uh, local home um, Home Depot. And uh, you guys can also purchase this online uh, on Amazon, a bunch of stuff. Again, I'll leave links in the description under the video. Uh, but it often comes on sale and I uh, benefited from like a 30% discount or something like that. So it was very good. Uh, but the price definitely is nowhere near those huge tanks that you can get. So of course, a lot of them can carry more volume, right? So 30 gallons, 50 gallons, uh, but often they come with necessary oil changes. They're way more expensive in the thousands of dollars, sometimes in the five figure range, depending on what behemoth you're using. They're not portable and they can get quite loud. Uh, this one here is relatively quiet coming in at 77 dB. So for the performance, that it gets again of course you're still going to hear it um, but it's pretty quiet for what it is and the tanks have just enough capacity that it doesn't start all the time so of course continuous use they will eventually start again to fill the tanks up but uh, you have a good working time with those tanks the weight, by the way, is 61 pounds or 27.7 kilos, if that's important for you. Uh, you also have this nifty handle on the side so you can carry it because, again, this is perfect for mobile detailers. You can bring it uh, in your truck or on your job site, regardless of where you need it. You might need it in your home, for example, so you can lug this around fairly easily. Uh, it's not lightweight by any means, but you can lift this. One person can do it, no problem. Uh, for the dimensions, so it's 21.3 inches in height. 15.6 inches in width and 23 inches in depth. So for those of you who, uh, who like that, and uh, again, 200 PSI, 1.6 horsepower motor. It draws 14 and a half amps. Once again, 5.1 SCFM at 90 PSI. So uh, tons of power. Uh, you also get something very cool. When you're done using it, uh, you're gonna empty the tanks, right? Super important. So there's no water that accumulates or humidity inside there. So you don't want the, the tanks to rust. So there's a um, quarter inch turn ball valve that drains the tank quickly for each side. So if you look here under, you get two of those valves valves, you simply turn the knob 90 degrees and it's going to release whatever air and moisture is in there. And then you close it and that's it. You're good to go. You do that for both tanks and you set it and forget it as we said. Now let's do the test so you guys can see uh, how long this takes to fully pressurize. So right now uh, both indicators are at zero PSI and we're going to turn it on. I'm going to use my stopwatch so you guys can see how long it takes to uh, actually fill. So let's turn on the switch. We're going to have this on screen so you guys can tell. One, two, three. And there you go. You guys heard it. So one minute, 36, let's say a minute, 35 seconds uh, to a fully charge. So that's in line with what I've seen from other reviews uh, on the net. So this is actually true. I'm pretty happy to see that and uh, it's consistent. So very quick to fill up instead of waiting five to 10 minutes. Imagine you're getting on a job site. You can start the compressor in a minute and a half. Boom, you're done. It's full and you're good to go. So I love seeing that. So the uh, performance is quite good. Now, let me show you here with the uh, pressure regulator how you, uh, you would adjust to put your uh, tool right. So you would first connect a uh, inlet like this inside one of the inlets. So your air hose is ready to go. And now with the regulator, so here on the left, this is the tank itself. So we can see that it's full at 200 PSI, the max capacity. And here on this side, you get the outlet. So you're gonna set however, how much PSI you guys actually want on the output. So you take this knob, you pull it up, and then you see here, you turn it clockwise and you're increasing your PSI. So we're gonna want that at roughly 90, because that's what I need for the tool. But you you read whatever uh, pressure you need on your tool. And once you're set it, there we go. So we're at 90. And now you just lock that in. There you go. So you're gonna get a consistent 90 PSI of output when you're using that. So a regulator that is locking. So up and then clockwise to increase or counterclockwise to decrease. And then you push it back in to lock that in and you're good to go. So we're gonna talk about the fittings soon, but let me give you an example. So on the other side of the air hose, we have one in the inlet of the machine, right? And, uh, or the outlet, I should say, of the machine. <laughs> and then uh, you have the other end that you're gonna have 
this uh, quarter inch quick connect type connector. So on our tool that you're using, regardless of what tool you're using, but in this case, this is the uh, Tornador Max. This is an air cleaning tool that has a built-in tank with a cleaning solution. So you can spray that solution and some uh, high pressured air to uh, remove a lot of stuff on carpets, upholstery uh, and floor mats and all that kind of stuff. It even comes with a flashlight in the front, a little tactical light there. So we have a swiveling type connector here on the machine itself. And basically it's a quarter inch quick connect. So you take your coupler and there you go. You're good to go. And we can do a little quick demo. Again, this is absolutely amazing. And then you can switch tools as you go, or there's a second outlet on the machine so you can connect a second tool as well. So very, very awesome. Now, what do you need as far as equipment? In the box, you only get the air compressor and you get the uh, operator's manual or the user manual, and that is it. So what you need afterwards is an air hose. So uh, one like this, I took a 3 8 inch hose with a quarter inch fittings up top. So enough to have steady pressure. Again, don't worry, links are in the description. Uh, very flexible. There are many companies that make them. You can have either a DeWalt, Rigid make some, Husky, Flexilla, you name it. There's a bunch of high quality ones. Uh, so, uh, and depending on the length, I got a 100 foot hose. You can have 25 feet, uh, 50 feet, 100 feet, regardless of how much you need. I just want some extra leg room. So I went for 100 feet. Uh, next, you need some connectors, right? So luckily for us, there's some kits that are available out there with everything that you need. So I bought a kit like this. What you're looking for is what they call I slash M industrial type quarter inch connectors or plugs uh, or couplers if you want. They're also called NPT type connectors. And basically you have a bunch in the kit. So you have this quick connect here. And then you have uh, this fitting here. That's another quarter inch quick connect. And these, by the way, are the ones you're going to connect onto your tools, right? So these are the connectors for the tools. This is for the air hose. And this one too is for the other end of the air hose, as you saw. So if you look on one end of the hose again, so you have this connector here on one end. So this is the one that goes into the machine. And on the other end, you have this coupler here, the bigger quick connect. And this is what you connect your tools to. So again, you would come with your tool, put that in there, you connect it, and you're good to start using your air tool. And then disconnect and use another tool as you wish. Now, another type, as you saw on that tool, you can get the swivel plugs just like this. So this still has the quarter inch type fitting. However, it's on a swivel. So you're freer to use it or it's easier to move around, right, with the hose as this swivels. So that I think is a neat feature. And of course, on your air hose, on both of the uh, terminations, before you add the couplers, add some Teflon sealing tape, right? Also known as plumber's tape. So you uh, put that on the threads counterclockwise, and then you put your fitting and you turn that in clockwise, the fitting on the, the thing, and that way you'll have a nice airtight seal. Now, when you're done using the machine, very simple in the operation uh, to turn it off. So basically, you turn the switch off, and you're going to take this ring here and you're going to release the pressure until you're roughly at 20 PSI. And that's to be able to drain the, uh, the tanks afterwards. So you're going to pull on this ring. And now we're at 20 PSI. Uh, now here on the bottom, you open up both drain plugs and you can tilt the unit to make sure that you're getting all that moisture out of there. So that's pretty much the only thing you have to do to release all that pressure and to make sure there's nothing left in there because you don't want any moisture buildup and you don't want the tanks to rust inside. There's only a little bit of moisture. I don't know if you can tell, but that's not a lot. And when you're done draining them, make sure you close the valves back up and there you go. You're good for the, uh, the next time. So that's pretty much it. 
So we're gonna have more videos where you're gonna see uh, this unit, of course, in action, because I'm gonna be using a lot of these Tornador tools, by the way. If there's anything else you guys want me to test or demonstrate with the uh, air compressor, let me know. Drop a comment in the comment section under the video. Uh, also, I'll make sure to include all the links for the stuff I spoke about today in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Uh, and guys, yeah, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the, thumb, the thumbs up button. That really helps the channel grow because it helps the algorithm understand that you guys uh, enjoy my content. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. That way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos so you can continue to learn more about car detailing, all the products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques. So guys, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.